I haven't been this excited for a product since I got my first Tesla. In fact, this has been referred to as the Tesla of laundry, so naturally I had to see if it lives up to the hype. This is my review of the brand new GE Profile Ultra Fast Combo. And by the way, this is not sponsored by GE. I just love tech products that save time, money, or energy, and this GE combo does all three. Plus it's full of cutting edge technology that truly makes it a game changer. And what surprised me the most are the overlapping similarities it has to EV ownership, which compelled me to make this video. Now this is an all-in-one washer dryer combo, meaning it washes and dries automatically in a single machine with no need to transfer the load, which is exactly what I was looking for after I moved into this house a couple of months ago because the laundry is located in the basement and with the laundry being out of sight and out of mind, it was super easy to forget to transfer the laundry from the washer to the dryer, which meant I had to run the washing machine again and that's literally a waste of energy and a hassle to constantly go up and down stairs. So I knew that I wanted an all-in-one combo which I didn't really know existed until recently. However, this concept is not new. The first all-in-one washer-dryer combo was released 70 years ago in 1953, and they're very common in Europe. But the top complaints of most combo units are that the clothes either take too long to dry or they don't get dry enough. And this new GE combo, which took seven years to develop, seems to address those concerns. Now this product stood out to me because it's the largest capacity all-in-one machine that I've seen. With 4.8 cubic feet of wash capacity, it's big enough to clean and dry large size loads, even a king size comforter, which is the largest item I need to wash, so this size is perfect for my household of three people. Now some of its biggest advantages are the fact that it runs on a normal power outlet, so no need for an upgraded outlet, and this is completely ventless, meaning it doesn't require a vent like a normal dryer does. All you need is water hookups and you're good to go. Now this is part of GE's profile series, which features higher end appliances with smarter features compared to the standard GE lineup. And you can see this has a very sleek design with a carbon graphite body and the blue and pink color combination, which really make it stand out from your standard plain white laundry machines. It has built-in Wi-Fi and can be remotely monitored using the free app. So you can see things like how much time is left on the current cycle and receive various different helpful notifications. However, this isn't something you want to just run out and buy right now if your current washer or dryer are both in good working condition and are fairly new. But if you're like me and your current machines are older and both are in need of replacing or you are shopping for a new set, then this combo unit should be considered because the price is similar to a new two-piece washer dryer set, except this has an advantage of being a single machine which is simpler and saves space. I received mine in early July when the price was around $2,000 during a summer sale, but even now they're around $2,400, which is still a great price. Now, speaking of good deals on awesome products, that's what today's sponsor is all about. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel any time. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. After you fill out a quick one-time quiz, every month they introduce cool new products such as outdoor gear, barware, home goods, clothing, and more. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, but members only pay a fraction of that. Each month you'll get a box of awesome assigned to you, but before it's shipped, you'll get a preview of what comes inside to decide if you want to keep it, swap it for a different box, or skip the month entirely for no charge. You only pay for what you want. Now, my favorite boxes so far are Concentrate that came with a cold brew coffee maker, slow crafted bitters, and a pencil cup and tray made from hand burnished concrete, all of which have made my summer mornings much more enjoyable. And the parked box that has a compact camp chair that folds up very small and can easily be taken anywhere that I need to sit and watch my daughter. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description below and enter ASLY20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash ASLY20. A GE's tagline for this combo unit is one machine that lets you wash and dry a large load of laundry in about two hours. So we'll put that to the test soon, but let's go over the other main features. Although it's very tech focused with smart capabilities and touchscreen buttons, it's still intuitive and easy to use. Like most new laundry machines, it comes with many predefined cycles, but I'm a simple man, so I almost exclusively use the normal cycle with cold water on my previous machines, but this GE has a new EcoCool cycle, which I'm a big fan of as it saves maximum energy using a specially designed cold water wash and efficient dry cycle that is supposedly comparable to a warm water cycle. And just by owning this machine, it claims to save 50% more energy than a standard Energy Star electric dryer. So energy efficiency is definitely top notch. 
And a big part of that is how the ventless drying works. A conventional dryer is very inefficient because it takes air from the room and it heats it up to dry the laundry. This GE is quite the opposite as it uses a heat pump along with high speed airflow in a completely sealed system. So the recirculated air gently dries the laundry without any high heat, which is a game changer. And another feature I really love is the smart dispenser, which allows you to put in enough detergent and fabric softener for 32 loads and the machine will automatically dispense the correct amount for each load so you don't have to put it in each time you do laundry, which is a huge time saver. And when the dispenser is low, you can get notified on the app and you can also see the level on the main display. Now, one thing to note is that the lint filter is fairly big and is located at the top, unlike my other dryers in the past. However, my machine is a little taller because it's on the optional seven inch riser. But on the other hand, this machine should produce less lint given it's more gentle method of drying compared to a standard dryer. Now, the profile series not only brings smart features and app notifications, but it actually learns how you do laundry over time and tries to optimize itself and will stay up to date with the latest software releases, which improve the experience. In fact, when I got mine, they had recently released a software update that sped up the drying cycle, which is awesome. But what about the claim of doing laundry in two hours? Well, based on my usage, it usually washes and dries a large load of laundry between two and two and a half hours. During the first large load that I did, the machine estimated two hours and 12 minutes, and it ended up being two hours, 20 minutes. Another large load I did, which weighed 12.2 pounds, it estimated two hours, seven minutes, and it actually took two hours, 15 minutes. So the estimated time is pretty accurate, but based on my experience, it'll take about five to 10 minutes longer than the estimate, but it's always been under two and a half hours so far. So that's really good. And to answer another big question, yes, it does indeed get the clothes dry in that time frame. Every load has been dry except for one load that I did, which was probably my fault. I combined bed sheets with towels and clothes and I put it on the delicate cycle. And when it finished, only the bed sheets were dry. So I had to re rerun the rest in the dryer. But that answers yet another question. Yes, you can use this machine to do a wash only or a dry only cycle. You don't have to wash and dry together. They can be done separately as needed. But obviously the best thing about this machine is that it's a large enough all in one for my laundry needs and I don't have to transfer the load. I'm no longer constantly running up and down stairs. All I do now is start a load of laundry at night and I wake up to clean dry clothes. And if you're worried about wrinkles, this does have a wrinkle care option that extends the tumble without any heat, which is nice. Now, after a month of using this, I have to agree, this is the Tesla of laundry machines. It's changed the way I do laundry, sort of like how Tesla changed the way I drive. I don't have to stop and get gas and I just charge my car overnight while I sleep. And now I don't have to remember to do laundry during the day. I just start a load at night and let it do it overnight while I sleep. And this machine has smart features and gets over the air software updates that improve it over time, just like my Tesla. And it can charge on a normal outlet and is extremely energy efficient, which should lead to a lower lifetime cost of ownership, just like my Tesla. But don't just take it from me. I live in Louisville, Kentucky, which is where the GE Appliance Park is headquartered. And I was lucky enough to speak to the experts behind this machine. And here's what they had to say. Electric cars, just like a combo washer and dryer, they've been around forever, right? Most of us didn't even think about it as a solution for our families because again, they weren't practical. They were a compromise to what you're used to. Tesla came along and said, well, what if we solved all those things, right? How do we make it faster? How do we make it more affordable? How do we make the charge longer, make it reliable, add technology to make it a better experience? They've now made EVs mainstream and we're doing that here. So king size comforter can go in here. We're gonna do it just as fast as you're doing it today and be able to fit in your wallet, right? That's the other thing is some of these EVs were so crazy expensive, but when you start thinking about what well, on oil changes, I don't have uh, to fill up at the gas station. You start looking at the, the cost of ownership um, similar here. So the cost of this machine is really similar to what a pair of laundry um, would cost you today if you're gonna go out and replace your washer and dryer today. So it's a practical price point too, which makes this mainstream gives you what you want. We add technology that's purposeful for what you need. Again, to make the chore less of a chore, there's no laundry day. We throw a lawn, we throw in a load before we go to bed. Who cares? We wake up in the morning, it's done. We take it out, we fold it. Throw in a load, go to work, throw in a load, go to the store, come back, and your laundry is done. It's a process that you just do as you need to do it. But we love the uh, comparison to Tesla, right? Because, you know, as design engineers, right, people don't think about laundry as sexy. You know, <laughs> <laughs> what's really cool, though, is you bring innovation where people aren't used to seeing this level of innovation. You know, as David and I are talking about it, we're saying, this actually does that. People are like, 
I don't believe you, right? It, it can't be done. Why hasn't it been done before? And when it did, it didn't work. And they, the folks that have brought this home and tested it, like, we just love reading the consumer feedback, which is like, oh my God, this is life changing, right? It's like, I dare it. I say, I love laundry now. I'm like, hey, that's awesome. You know, we're really excited. Yeah. So it's, ex it's great when you can bring innovation. And just like you said, if we can help people save them time, energy, money, it's awesome. I'm extremely satisfied with this GE profile combo to the point where the only downside I can really think of is that since I use unscented laundry detergent, my clothes kind of have that brand new appliance smell to them, which isn't necessarily a bad smell, just noticeably different. And I'm assuming that will go away after a while or I can just get scented detergent. And another downside for some people may be that you can't really use dryer sheets in this unless you manually insert them before the dry cycle begins. But I've never used dryer sheets anyway, so that doesn't matter to me. Overall, this is my favorite home appliance I've ever owned, and it comes with a 10-year limited warranty, so I'm confident I'll be happy with this for a very long time. I'll leave a link to this in the description below if you want to get one for yourself. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech videos that will save you time, money, or energy. My name is Andy. I'll talk to you in the next one.